Jake's locked in for Weibo, and I love this. I like it as well. I think, obviously, its ability to nullify some very strong early laning options, but just the fact of this game has been so much about being in front of an objective first, or the series, rather, because of this you know, last set of drafts, as far as uh, I can see right now. A trade deal, you say? A trade deal. Hmm. Indubitably. Uh, very, very demure. Very demure. What? Oh. <laughs> no, this is also just about utilizing Look, I'm the I'm sorry. We don't have kills for seven minutes, and this <laughs> is what we reach, folks. <laughs> you're really, really looking for the time window where they get strongest. is actually quite soon just coming up. That's a catch. Nice Bramble Smash, but the immediate flashback from missing. Tarzan's going down heavily as he is cut to tender. As now Chris coming over here on the Pissing, though. Xiaohu putting some serious work in. The Ultra Shock laser going to slow down the Gao. Now Light coming over. Can't hit the bomb, but Chris going for the engage. Magnet Storm over. JDG fighting this one tooth and nail. Xiaohu comes up with one. JDG are starting to flash away, but they're losing bodies. Oh! And a big bullet tie from Ruler. And it's Daisy. gonna be Daisy. No way! Oh! He dies! Ivern is a friend of the forest, and so is JDG. Up to four, they'll at least get the might spawn, but Weibo have made their presence known here and will force JDG off of it. Missing got hit back by the satchel charge. But Weibo, they really just want to recenter focus on these grubs. Oh. They go for the flash play. Never mind. They want the blood. They want Kanabi's head. And they do take it indeed. And they'll add another one to it. Missing's head has gone his namesake. For stepping this time. I mean, they did it in the last fight. It was just that they ended up turning it around. Light time. Dead. Dead. time. Oh. Light is barely able to flash out, but Ruler has his number. <laughs> Excellent stuff. They're going to prevent a full blown six grubs going over to JDG. And I was actually going to say, look. Grubble Gavin. Try to make a play on top side. Actually, preemptive nature's grasp. As they actually might catch. Okay, he's going to flash out. I think that's a really good call from Flandre itself. It will also mean JDG keeping up the dragon score. Yeah, if any CC hits there, Ziggs comes through, absolutely demolishes. Dragon for Herald, Tower Tower. But with that teleport, it should just be Wave of Tower. Herald should be theirs. And it's actually going to be enough trade. It well, oh, someone has to grab no. the Herald. Yeah, that ain't happening, buddy. That ain't <laughs> happening. I don't think JDG is going to allow that one. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. That is very well, unfortunate. I will say, though, still denying it. And I think that's Absolutely. a big thing. Breathe's going to cash Yago. I guess the wall's oh. done. Oh, wow. my God. He's uh. got so much damage. That's a big gnar, baby. You go. Oh. You have some trouble. The wall up hits. Oh, Breathe can't do it. The rock fling. But it didn't matter. Breathe with a solo over you go. Inside of regional qualifiers, finds a moment for himself, a solo kill on Tia Gao, and let's see how crucial that could be at this fight unfold. JDG, a little angy after that one. They want to take out that anger on a crisp, and they will get Kanavi another kill. That's a third one for the Ivern of JDG. Yeah. Try to get over there, too, as uh, Tarzan is going to be the... in the middle of a bouncy castle right now, throwing his own bounce right back, but he's in a little bit of trouble. Breeze so coming flash. over on the corner. Yeah, he might look for it. Nature's Grass coming across, though. Breeze starting to stack up this Meganar. TP is going to be coming in. It looks like we're just throwing it all here in the bottom side as Breeze is not going to find the angle there. Flandre able to slice and dice his way to safety. Meganar still looking for the ulti. Gets the slowdown oh, on the missing here from Chris. They do not feel confident going. Oh! Meganar misses bullet time right back. You do that, and it is calculated by JDG to take you out. A moment they take Breathe gone. to remember for Breathe, and a moment to forget immediately after. A whiff on the flash armor as well. This will fall very easily. And sadly for Breathe, he's not really pushed up the wave quickly enough in that bot side to very easily take that turret. Means he's a little bit behind that plate. Go back to base. They're trying to enter through the bottom side. JDG and Breathe's Meganar just timed out. Oh, that's so rough. Missing going for the solar flare. Gets the flash out of light. Light trying to reposition here, but Breathe is just a mini Nar. Yagao wants to take him out. Yagao, he's trying to kill Breathe by himself. He just he wants revenge. Auto. Yagao, he can't get him in the end. Oh, the boss pop goes wide. And now JDG did take that dragon in the meanwhile. Now looking for an engage. Daisy leading the front, but will he take now? Chris blocking back Tarzan, hitting the nature's grass. Yagao with the flank of the century, maybe. But Xiaohu wants to take him out. Oh, Big Ruler. bullet time from Ruler as he steps up yet again. And JDG put down Weibo as Breathe in his little mini Nar form will be nothing against the might of Ruler. To take the Baron and snowball this game, 
wholly in their favor. We talked about how it was a risky fight for Weibo. Item spikes were hit for the carries of JDG. Yago can't quite get the solo kill to breathe cleanly at the start. But... In this series, there's been some lows, but my god, when they're stepping Whoa! up as big as now, he might be a little bit caught. Big Mega Inferno Bomb, bullet top coming across. You thought he was caught, but it was really Weibo who were caught all along. And it's a double kill for Ruler, and they're gonna find more in mid lane. I can't tell who's more broken. Ruler, or the fact that Ivern can even keep him alive in that kind of position in the first place. Either way, it just doesn't matter. JDG, five strong, are marching onto the base of Weibo, and they should be able to crack this one open. Yeah, behind every godlike carry, there has to be one of those people holding up the platform. Kanavi, almost 4,000 gold advantage in the jungle on the Ivern, saving the day. What a play, and what a moment from JDG. Down the mid lane, now they're looking at tough. Two should be a relatively easy siege. Weibo is still coming back out and recovering from they that play. They won a long angle. This conversation yesterday on the cast as well about Ivern and how cheap his items are. This 4,000 gold lead, is, it, it feels like a 6,000 gold lead. Yeah. He's got a two whole completed items over Tarzan. They're so far behind in so many key roles, it's very hard for them to control the map and actually make some big plays over them. I think one of the other bonuses as well of um, being ahead, just in general, you kill things quicker. You kill jungle camps quicker. You kill objectives better. That dragon didn't take that much time. Approach is so slow that this Baron's already half HP. The night is dark and full of tears. Weibo know that oh so well here. Two games back to back have they dominated JDG, but here they are, backs against the wall themselves. With that sweet sound of silver scrape right around the corner, JDG just oh. want to delete it. Oh, no, it. No, 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 no! Oh, oh my God! Weibo take the Baron. They'll get all five out. It might not be for the game, but they've just seen 90. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not even Xiaohu getting away. Tarzan might not be so lucky that make it rain just slowing oh. down. And now the lightning crash coming out. Weibo in some trouble. Tarzan going down. They lose one of their caves, but JDG, they might have just fumbled a little bit of this. You lose Tarzan, but I don't think it costs the game. You have Ziggs wave clear, you have the Baron minions. Weibo, somehow, we were singing, 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 singing songs of silver scrapes, but. They might have just held on just a little longer. Now, and that's definitely when JDG are going to look to get a little bit more aggressive. There it is, it's gone. They're going to step forward now, but look at Chris. Look at Chris. Oh, he's got a big engage. Okay, bullet time coming across. There's Nature's Grass. It's going to go the way of Kanavi. They have secured soul for JDG. The fight after, though, Xiaohu looking to put in the damage. Daisy's already gone. Chris going for the engage on the missing, but they might just turn right back on him. This is so dicey, but JDG, that's what they're going for. You got already going that way. Ruler going that way. They're using this here. TP coming in, though. Bereed might be able to stop that siege coming down. And it looks like they might have gotten it re-engaged, though. JDG, they're picking apart the stragglers of Weibo. As Light is left out by himself, they're also losing the fight in the base! Ruler kiting his way to victory! And of course it's Yagao and Ruler who put the finishing mark on this game number four! And Silver Stripes, here we come! These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LPL Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.